All right, here we go. Some NBA Thursday night action. Only three games on the board. We got two of them. And one of them is a total play, and it's going to be here with Utah and Miami. Yesterday, we were 0-2 on our plays, unfortunately. That's the first time that's happened in a while, though, is we have been arguably on fire this season. We've been doing really well. So we're just going to go ahead and forget about uh, yesterday. Let's get on to today. For Utah and Miami, I like under the total in this matchup, and I think the odds makers agree with me. They set this really, really low. That's fine, though. I'm looking for a really slow-paced, slow hard-fought defensive Affair. Let's go ahead. Let's start breaking down some numbers. Osmakers came out 182 right now across the board, and I'm fine with that. I think uh, with the way Utah played at that up tempo game in Cleveland the other night, I think now they just face a completely different monster in Miami. Miami's a really good defensive team all, all across the board. I mean, from the perimeter on in into the interior, they are tough. They limit points in the paint and they limit the three point shot. At least, you know, as far as high field goal percentage, they, they limit shots. Um, you know, Spolster does a really nice job with that defense. And Utah has been absolutely fantastic this year. Interior play, Gobert and Favors have been really tough uh, on defense. And I look for that to continue today. They hit the boards hard and they're flying around. Perimeter it could be a little bit better, but I like for this game to be slow paced and under the total. All right, let's start talking about these teams. Let's talk about Utah. They come in, they're averaging 96.3 points per game shooting 43.3% from the field, 38.7% from beyond the arc. Okay numbers, pretty good from beyond the arc, but today they're going to have some trouble against a Miami team that likes to get out and defend that uh, perimeter, really good at defending the three. Defensively, Utah, they've slowed the pace. Uh, they didn't the other night, but I think they will tonight, and they've been really good on defense. They rank in the top five in a lot of defensive categories. Uh, and they rank first in points scored, opponents points scored, and Miami ranks second. Defensively, Utah, they've allowed 89.7 points per game, 40.9% shooting from the field, and 36% shooting from beyond the arc. Except for beyond the arc, um, those are some solid numbers. Uh, they're one of the best at limiting the, the high percentage shots, and they're one of the best at just total points per game. And that's part of because of the pace they run, which is quite slow. Miami. All around, very solid team. I like them to make the playoffs this year. Offensively, they come in, they're averaging 97.1 points per game, 45.7% shooting from the field, and 33.3% shooting from beyond the arc. Uh, they're decent on the offensive end, but I think their foundation is right here on the defense, and they are allowing this year 90.1 points per game, 41.3% shooting from the field, and 29.9% shooting from beyond the arc. And I think that's where Utah's going to struggle, that under 30% from beyond the arc defense from Miami is going to give Utah trouble. So what we have here, and I just mentioned it, you got two teams. Utah is ranked first in the league in opponent points against, and Miami is ranked second. And I think that's fitting, and I think we're going to see a low-scoring affair here. Um, I don't look for a fast pace up and down. Unless they shoot some ridiculous percentages, this should stay under that total of 182, and that's why the odds makers have set it so low. That's one of my picks today, under the total here with Utah and Miami. And I wish you guys luck on your plays of the day.